What's up? It's Cheese and welcome to Cheese TV. On tonight's episode, we're going to focus mainly on our last Invasion Chicago show that happened at the Congress Theater. The first fight, the big fight of the night, the 170 pound title match between Carlson Gracie's Danny Morales versus White Buffalo Warriors Shane Granko. Strap in, ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be good. Fighting in this 170 pound cutthroat MMA title fight out of the blue corner. He stands five feet ten inches tall. He weighs 168 pounds. From Castle Rock, Colorado, fighting for the White Buffalo Warriors in Kirkland, Washington. This is Shane Jump Street Greco. Entering the cutthroat steel for this 170 pound title match. Fighting out of the red corner. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall. He weighs 170 pounds. From Glendale Heights, Illinois. Fighting for Carlson Gracie MMA. This is Danny, the Machine, Morales! For five three minute rounds, your third man in the cage, Dave Lamoso. There's excitement in this building at the Congress Theater, Cutthroat MMA, Ed Wallace, Gabe Salinas, Danny Morales, and Shane Granko for the welterweight Cutthroat MMA title. Here we go. Shane going for the takedown. Good job by Danny. Danny doing a good job circling out. Nice uppercut to the body by Shane. It's a lot of body punches right here. The crowd obviously in Danny's corner. Very pro Morales crowd we have here. Danny looks strong. Oh, Shane could not take Danny down. I'm impressed with that. And we've seen in the past where, where, so he's definitely yeah. working on that takedown defense. Looks like Danny uh, went for the nice head kick right there by Danny. Nice leg kick right there. Oh, nice combination. Very there by nice combination. Danny looks to be I in control so up. far. He does look to be in control, and he's doing a great job using his body. Circling out and staying away from from wrestling with him, you know. Danny looks strong too. I, I really think Danny looks strong right now. He does, because Greco looks like he might have a little bit of size, not as much yeah. in height, but just overall body mass. Go, 
Shane, you know, Shane's, Shane's a warrior there, Shane. Nice spinning back right. kick by Danny. White Buffalo Warriors, that's right. Danny's really working that Anderson Silva head teep. I like it, you know, he it kind of sneaks up on you a little bit. Both, good exchange by both fighters. Both fighters eating some shots and giving some shots. Nice kick by Danny. It's a great opening and heavy out of that mouth. Yeah, I was actually just going to say the same thing. He does look tired. Nice kick by Danny. Danny looks in great condition. Yes, he does. We, you know, one thing that we do know for sure, Danny is a hard, hard worker. Those leg kicks are getting to Granko. Yeah, Shane's, Shane's tired right now. Shane is very, very tired already. He needs to hope to try to get something finished early because I think as the rounds go yeah, by, it's going to save him. I agree. I, I, think, I think about second round in, I think that Shane's got maybe one more round in him, and that's it. And there's more knees to the body by Morales is going to help and take a yeah, no, Yeah, Danny's done a great job going to the body. There he is again. See, he's really going for that teep kick. Throwing that cheap kick out there to the head. We'll see uh, if, if that does anything later on. Franco's hands already low. Danny Morales going to go for that back kick. Yeah, I, I am so impressed right now with Danny Morales to take that offense. Very, very impressed. Yeah, abs absolutely. Yeah, he's doing a great job so far. Yeah, he did get tagged right there. He took it, though. I think he caught him again there. I couldn't quite see. It's like Morales is trying to just be more of a counter puncher right yeah, now. Yeah, he is. I, I think that right hand, you know... Woke him up a little bit. Nice jab by Shane Granko. That's got to keep those hands up. Keep that head movement. His little open handed slap by Danny Morales there. You know, I really head kick lands. Come in because he kind of delayed on that kick. It was really slow developing, but he changed his mind. Yeah. Oh, he caught him with a right. He did. Nice right hand by Granko. Yes. Danny Morales really mixing it up with those kicks, something that Granko's not doing. Nice hook by Danny Morales. Both, both fighters doing a good job with head movement. Great. Th those, those leg kicks are going to play, you know. Danny Morales is in this fight for the long haul. Shane Granko is looking for knockouts. Danny Morales is timing what he's doing and uh, he's setting you know, everything. Exactly. Exactly. It seems like he's being content, looking for a big punch, yep. maybe a knockdown or maybe another flash knockout. Yeah, as you said before, you know, Danny Morales will only get better and his, his chances of winning will only increase as his fight goes on. Granko, I, I don't think that's the case. And his power is going to be diminished as well as he runs through on. Danny Morales, I believe it's a cut on his nose or eye. I can't quite see. No, I think he's, I think he's all right there. There's the spinning back. Nice! Right hand by Granko after the spinning back fist. Nice jab again by Granko. Granko, a little bit more in this round. Yeah, he is. You know, I'm sure it's 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 unnerving with all the chants of Morales, Danny, Danny. So nice, nice combo right there by Danny Morales coming body. in. Got a war here going yeah, on. Yeah, Granko's hands are definitely down right now. Ten seconds landing. left. He came in hard with that right hand. Franco definitely tired. A takedown by Danny wow. Morales. I didn't expect that, no. Wow, what a great fight, and we've still got three more rounds to go. More Cheese TV right after this.
Here's to the ladies, the fair and the weak. There they are, we'll all admit. But who dares call them weak? Our modern girls play as hard and with as much vitality and stamina as any man. so far. Oh, there's a cup check right there. Definitely, definitely in the in the groin area. Yeah, absolutely. He's definitely battering that leg. Can't quite see from this angle, yeah. This, you know, I can see Danny Morales winning this fight by uh, by leg kick TKO. Yeah, I really could. He's working it still. He is, and he's and he's countering right after too. Nice head kick by Danny Morales. Take down a tenth. We'll see. He's got the he's got the back right now. Let's see if he can do anything with it. He's tired. It's gonna be tough to. Only ten seconds left. Yeah. He's just gonna be wasting energy now. Danny Morales is a little 
more crisp. His movement is just fantastic. The angles, I'm, I'm very impressed. Yeah. Second chance, gotta go or he loses his fight. And he knows it. Nice inside like it. Danny Morales knows that he won this fight. That's it. Man, what a great fight. Both fighters did a great job. I'm so impressed. Danny Morales did an awesome job. Shane Greco was a game opponent. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands great together fight, for both great of fight. those fighters. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a title fight. Yes, that handsome guy was right. That was a title fight. Find out who wins right after this. This is your train station, your canvas, your metronome. You traverse the road less traveled, every win a friendly hitchhiker, every loss an unwanted stowaway. Your cable bridge, the steel threads of your past suspending the blueprints of your future. Defend what you've built. Go to DefenseSoap.com to learn more. <laughs> we have a winner for your 170 pound cutthroat MMA title by unanimous decision for the winner fighting out of the red corner Danny the Machine Morales! Hey, what's up? It's Cheese, and we are here with the reigning 170 pound cutthroat MMA champ, Danny Morales. Danny, you're looking good. I feel good. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you just had a five round knockdown drag out with Shane Granko, and you just, he looks like he's ready to go and party. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I'm already back in training, you know, ready to uh, make some more improvements and uh, keep evolving for sure. Nice. I mean, we were we were talking because before he came over to film the interview, he said, I got to go get my nose broke because they're going to reset it. But they didn't have to do that. <laughs> yeah, apparently uh, my nose was crooked before my fight with Shane and uh, Shane caught me with a, with a nice uh, right hand and uh, definitely uh, straightened out my nose. So. Uh, Thanks to Shane for that one. <laughs> Shane, send him a bill for the nose job. You got a new Shane, uh, the plastic surgeon. What can we call him? Granko. The rhino. Sh Shane Rhino Plastic Granko. <laughs> I like it. Yeah, it, it was definitely exciting. You know, uh, Shane's a great guy. He's a uh, he's a great fighter, and he definitely has a great chin, and he proved that on uh, on 
on Friday for sure. He, he was definitely uh, strong, and uh, he definitely had some power behind his punches, and I could tell he was trying to knock me out for sure. Yeah. And I as well, I was trying to knock him out. I, I, I was throwing everything at him, and he just wouldn't go down. That guy was like, determined. He just kept on coming. And he was <laughs> limping the next night. You said you guys went out. He was limping because you kept kicking the crap out of his leg. Yeah, yeah. Those, those were definitely key. Those were definitely key. Thanks to Lucas Bana for, uh, for the game plan as well. But I definitely like fights like Shane, and I definitely want a tougher opponent for sure. I, I want the toughest fights for sure, without a doubt. I want to fight like the best guy in some other state or something, you know. I, I want the best of the best for sure. I want to get tested right now before I go pro. Well, that's what Viet is doing now that we have full control of, of Cutthroat MMA is that we're bringing in, you know, better fighters from all around the country. We're not just sticking to the Chicagoland area, getting the same people, you know. We're actually trying to test you guys and make you guys the best fighters that you can be so that way people all around the country know cutthroat fighters are not just tested in the Midwest or Chicago they're tested all over the country so we're bringing in fighters from California we're bringing in fighters from Las Vegas we're bringing in fighters from Washington Montana uh, Arizona we've got fighters all over from the country coming in and really testing you guys so that when you go pro you've been tested it's not like you've been fighting in this little bubble of Chicago land You've been fighting all over the country. Cheese. <laughs> Welcome back to Cheese TV. One of the other fights from our Invasion Chicago show that I just loved was the ninja, Tom Schof, taking on one fight team's Warren Roberts. Check it out. Your first fighter entering the cutthroat steel, fighting out of the blue corner. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall. He weighs 170 pounds from Enon, Ohio, fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada for the Wand Fight Team. This is Warren Roberts. Entering the cutthroat steel. He stands six feet tall. He weighs 170 pounds from Plainfield, Illinois. Fighting for Team Carlson Gracie. This is Tom Show. Excited. Oh, here it is. Glove touch, and here it is. Nice jab, right up. Nice right hit. Oh. Oh. God, it's That's over. it. He, he stopped, stopped it. He stopped the fight. That is it. Oh. sitting here with cutthroat MMA fighter Tom Schof. Tom, how are you? I'm fantastic. How yeah? You look, you know what? I, it's, it's like there's a different look about you. And from the conversation that we just had as we were walking over here, I know why now. 
because um, you know you're gonna take some time off. Yeah, yeah. And you do, you have that look, like you said. I'm not worried about okay. I gotta get to the gym. Then I gotta I can't eat that. I gotta do this, but I can't do that. And mm -hmm. now you're just like yeah, yeah. You know what I've done is I've really um, after this last fight, I've really just kind of decided to uh, you know like I was talking to uh, my manager and I was, I was talking to you guys and guys from the gym and the last five years. Literally, tomorrow will mark five years since my first fight. And from boxing, Muay Thai, and MMA, that was uh, the 27th, was my 20th fight. And if you do the math, that's one fight every three months, four fights a year for five years straight. Damn. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I'm just, uh, I'm just tired. I really feel like I've, I've really grown a lot for my fights, especially from this last fight, you know. Um, for those of you who didn't see the fight, I don't blame you. If you blink, you probably would have missed it. Um, it wasn't that bad. You had to but, double uh, blink to yeah, miss it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you had to blink twice. <laughs> Something was in my eye. Yeah, um, what happened? You know, I, uh, I, I, I came out strong. I had an excellent training camp. Yeah. Um, I was really, I was prepared mentally and physically for this fight. Um, and I, I got caught. You know, I, I stepped in. It was 10 seconds in the first round. I stepped in through a real heavy shot and connected and it was almost like I froze you yeah know? like I hit yeah, him and yeah, I'm yeah. like How, what how are you still standing <laughs> and uh and, and and I got caught yeah. I think I think Warren is an incredible fighter mm -hmm. I think he 100% deserved the fight I feel really bad that I couldn't give him the fight that he trained for because he came in there ready you know yeah. he's a big strong guy he came in ready to go and I didn't give him the fight that he wanted I didn't give him the fight that I wanted but I'm really glad given the circumstances the fight happened the way the, the fight happened. Plenty of more fights from our Invasion Chicago show to see, but unfortunately, we're out of time. So you're gonna have to wait till next time. More fights, more fun, all on the next Cheese TV. Yeah!